Ticker tags, why you should, why you want, might want to use them and how you create them. You'll need to know a little bit of HTML for this, but don't worry, um, I shall step you through it. It's all quite easy. Um, so what is an anchor tag? An anchor tag is um, a URL, a link that takes you to a specific point in a page rather than taking you to the top of that page. Um, Wikipedia uses loads of them. Um, as you probably see from this page here, all of these contents here are anchor tags. Um, so if you click on one of them, like that one, you're still on the same page. You still we're still talking about Kate Middleton, um, but it's taking you to the relation to her relationship with Prince William. If you then go back, you go back to the content, so back to the place that you were on that same page. Um, if you hover over that one and then look down in the bottom left hand corner of the screen <clears throat> you'll see that the full URL is down there and it all ends with something with hash and then the name of the anchor tag. Um, so that's how they all work. We need to create that hash and then create the link to it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, this is, oops, not that one. This is my website and we're going to add a new page. I've already put the words in it. This is Laura Mipsum. I can talk about that another time if you want. Um, and we've, I'm going to put a couple of anchor tags in. So we're going to put some con table of contents at the top of the page or a couple of links rather. So this is the link to section one. Um, and then we need to go to the text tab. This won't work if you're in the visual tag. So the first thing that we need to do is to create that anchor tag, the point where we want to jump to on the page. So if we go to the beginning of section one down here um, and just, just above that, if we put a left angle bracket and then A, which stands for anchor, name which is the name of the tag oops equals double quotes and then section one don't leave any spaces or anything like that just keep it simple and then right angle bracket to close it and then another left angle bracket and slash a which closes that anchor tag so that's the first one and the second one we're going to put right at the bottom of the page and that is a space name equals bottom right angle bracket and then close your anchor tag. So that's it, that's them created. And then all we do here is if we pop back to the visual tab, highlight that one, click on the hyperlink and just type in hash, which tells you that it needs to go to the anchor tag. And then you have to remember what you called them. Section one, I think was that one, wasn't it? And then the other one there is hash bottom. Just one little thing I want to say um, is that um, if you're linking to a different page, so you want to go straight to the middle of a different page, then you need to put the full URL in, in much the same way that you get it here. So if you look down bottom left hand corner again, it's got the full URL starting with HTTPS, and then you tag on the anchor at the end. And that is all there is to it. So if I publish that, let the little WordPress mice run around their little spinning wheel. and then view the page. This is actually quite fast for my hosting. So there's the new page. So if we click that one, link to section one, there we go, there's section one there, popping up nicely. And, <coughs> and using this one, we can go straight to the bottom of the page.